Another brick fan with a Harry Potter set, this is the Hungarian Horntail Dragon. This is set 76406, was released in June 2022. It has 671 pieces, one minifigure, and cost about $50 when it was released. This set is similar to the Hedwig and Fox models that have come out over the last couple of years. So Fox being Dumbledore's Phoenix. Hedwig, of course, is Harry Potter's Snowy Owl. As you can see, the horntail is posed up on this stand. There is a golden dragon egg down there at the bottom, and then Harry is flying away on a broom out in front of the dragon. Let's take a quick look at Harry's at Harry here. I'll take the whole apparatus out of the way here so you can kind of get a better look at the dragon himself, but Taking a look at Harry, so this it was during the Triwizard Tournament, so you see Harry here in his competition outfit. It's got some good side printing there with the red and black sleeves there. He does have the mid legs, so these are the ones that are one stud bigger than the short legs and one stud smaller than the standard minifigure legs, but they do bend at the waist. And then it, of course, has Potter written across his back. And he does have an alternate expression as well. So really nice minifigure comes with this set. The Horntail himself also has a kind of a nameplate and there's that egg. So that is a sticker, but it still looks quite good. And then taking a look kind of at the action for the Horn tails, just like Hedwig and Fox, and you have some very nice, kind of pretty organic wing movement. Uh, one big difference between the horn tail and the others is the fact that the horn tail has these felt pieces instead of a brick built wing. So there's all these spines here, or the skeletal structure is kind of done with all these rounded parts, some technic pieces, and things like that. Some claws or teeth down here as well. But you see that the the wing is kind of made out of this felt piece that is held on by these posts here. The legs are swept back behind there and big clawed feet. And then on the very back of the tail is kind of this spiny tail here on the end. The tail is very flexible, has lots of articulation points. So it allows for a lot of movement on the tail. The back is very spiny, as you see. So I think that turned out really nicely. There's more of the wing here, of course. There is a sticker here used for the eyes, which I thought looked pretty good. And I really like this, the coloring they did here on this big flame piece for the dragon breathing fire from the purple to the orange. I thought that was a really nice look as well for the dragon. So overall, a, a nice model of a Hungarian horntail. Let's take a look and see how it compares to the other models that were built similar. So here's a quick look at all three of these flying creatures, I suppose. So Hedwig there on the left came out in 2020. Fox the Phoenix came out in 2021. And then of course now in 2022, we have the Hungarian Horntail. And as you can see, they've all got these base. They have kind of a stand that each of them are on. They all have the little crank that moves the wings. And for the most part, all of the wing action is pretty much the same in all three of them, but there's very different color schemes and obviously very different looks for each of these different models. Overall, I really like the styling of this model. I think the use of the fabric actually is pretty authentic. If you think about dragons, they tend to have kind of leathery wings as opposed to feathery wings like you see on the Phoenix and on Hedwig. So the brick built made a lot of sense in that case, but this use of the cloth kind of gives you that leather wing appearance, which I think turned out very nicely. The Harry Potter figure is very good. Uh, it's a kind of a unique print for Harry, which is always nice to get that. 
And then, like I said, this little flame piece here actually really adds a lot of bright color to the model. This is actually very a very good value if you're just looking at price per piece. Now, granted, there's an awful lot of small pieces like all these little tiny cheese wedges, the teeth and other of those various pieces. But still, if you're looking purely price per piece, you're looking at maybe $750. You're looking at seven, 671 pieces for $50. So about seven and a half cents per piece, which is well under that 10 cent per piece I like to use as a good starting point. So overall, I think a very good value, a very nice display model, and it looks really good with the other two models that are done in a very similar style as you saw when all three of them were together. So it'd be interesting to see if they come up with another one. Uh, I think a hippogriff would be pretty interesting, although that's a very big, scale-wise, it would be interesting to see how they, that's done, but of course, a dragon is much bigger than an owl, so I'm sure that they could pull that off. So maybe we'll see, uh, maybe we'll see a hippogriff coming up. Buckbeak might make an appearance in 2023. Hope you've enjoyed my thoughts on this Harry Potter set. I'm gonna get going on my next video, and until then, have a go. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe to see more of my reviews. I've left a link to my Harry Potter review playlist up here on the screen.